My name is Dr. Yipeng Ji. I'm a primary care doctor and a public health practitioner. I live and work and play on these traditional unceded territories of the Gonkwe Anishinaabeg territory. This is stolen land. We're gathering on stolen land from Turtle Island to Palestine. Occupation and colonization is a crime. In February, when I was in Gaza taking care of patients in primary care clinics in Rafa, there were not enough medications and supplies to appropriately treat patients. There were no antibiotics when we arrived at these primary care clinics. Antibiotics are the necessary medications to prevent and treat bacterial infections that cause disease, death, and disability. These were the conditions in the primary cl clinics in Rafa in February. It is August now. Now, it is essentially September. 11 months of genocide. I took care of patients as young as two, three years old that could not walk anymore because of severe malnutrition. There were patients as young as 12 months of age that should have been walking because of their developmental milestones, but were not walking because of severe malnutrition. We have patients now as young as 10 months old that are paralyzed because of polio virus. Polio virus has been eliminated in the Gaza Strip for 25 years. It is in the sewage water, it is spreading, and now tomorrow we have a campaign with the World Health Organization to vaccinate and, and pause the bombing for a few days so that children can get vaccinated just so that they can be bombed in a few more days. When this government over there, the Canadian government, is funding that genocide is supporting the bombs that are dropping with companies in Canada, like in Montreal, that are supporting and supplying those arms and bombs and shelling. Shame! We will not be complicit with genocide. Melody, Jolie, Justin Trudeau, you are complicit in genocide. You will be tried for your war crimes and your support of Israel to commit crimes against humanity. Yeah! Never again has to mean something in this world. Never again has to mean something for everyone in this world. From Turtle Island to Palestine. I also want everyone to reflect on how state and colonial violence here on this land is killing indigenous black and brown bodies all around us. I woke up to the news of a teenage boy from Samson Cree Nation in Alberta who called for help and two RCMP officers showed up and murdered him. This is colonial genocidal violence here on stolen land, occupied Turtle Island, also known as Canada. When we talk about collective liberation, we have to mean collective liberation from all. From Turtle Island to Palestine, to Sudan, to Congo, to Haiti. Our collective liberation is bound with one another. We are all freer when Palestine is free. And Palestine is freeing all of us from any notion, any, any facade that we've previously, and I don't think you have been ever convinced or, or persuaded or infiltrated by the Zionist propaganda, but many others still have. And I hope we continue to shatter that facade that continues to permeate in our Western societies that are directly funding and supporting the genocide of Palestinians in Gaza. From Turtle Island to Palestine, occupation is a crime. Free, free Palestine.